the labor. Well, not many of us know Bill Lathrop. I don't know him. Uh, but we, we know people who know Bill. You know, there was the, one of the sponsors of tonight's event is the ABC Committee, a better community. And some of the people who were the early organizers of this committee were people who work with Bill, Carmen and Gabe uh, with the UFCW. Bill is president of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union in the, in the Southern California area, representing 18,000 uh, grocery workers. And, and we even like Joe Duffel, you know, who's, who's, who's been around here a long time. And last year, Veterans for Peace gave the award for organization of the year to our Walmart organization, which is, if you don't know, it's a group of Walmart workers who are organizing to get better working conditions. People who have the courage to stand up uh, without union representation. And the UFCW has been supportive in that effort. And Romy Pinney, the organizer there, is also a friend of Desert Hot Springs. So here's Bill Lake, a uh, friend of labor. And Bill's a veteran too, by the way. <laughs> yes, and I was successful in staying out of every war that took place while I was in, believe me. <laughs> Bill, uh, Bill also is receiving uh, con congressional recognition from the office of Congressman Robert Ruiz. And uh, and a plaque from the Veterans for Peace of the Inland Empire. So uh, Bill has dedicated his entire career to helping working people and promoting education around uh, different uh, proposals that are on the ballot and helping to bring, bring people into more uh, conscious uh, political involvement. So here you go, Bill. Here's your plaque from the Congressman. Thank, thank you so much. Sorry, I appreciate that. You're my plaque. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much, Tom. Um, well, I've been president of Local 1167 for the last 13 or 14 years, and 13 and a half, actually, and uh, came on staff 34 years ago. Uh, one thing I learned uh, early on, that you hire the best people you can, and then you uh, sit down with them. They put a, an agenda together. We put an agenda together, and uh, they go out and do all the work, and if it's done well, I get all the credit. And so what I'd like to do is introduce to you tonight a couple of those people that do all the work, and I'd like to give them some of the credit tonight, maybe all of them. Our uh, Secretary of Treasury, Rick Brewer. Come up here, young man. Come on, come on. And then one of the most popular guys in Desert Hot Springs, I know because he keeps telling me so, Joe Duff. When, uh, when Tom said that I would, had been picked for an award and it was uh, revolving around peace, um, I wasn't sure exactly how to handle that. I, uh, no, really, I, I'm a peaceful guy. Especially the older I get, the more peaceful I get because I can't really get out of my own way anymore. Um, and then Tom I made a good point. He said, uh, well, you represent a lot of people, don't you? I said, I try. And he says, Without dignity, there is no peace. I said, yeah, I agree with that. And without justice, there is no peace. And I thought about that for a while. I said, well, you know, that's what we try to get for our 18,000 members every day. We try to negotiate contracts for them, to pay them good benefits, good wages, good pension, so that they can have dignity in the workplace, and that gives them peace. Amen. We also in, enforce those contracts, and we have some very, very good union employers that live by those contracts. Now, there was some mention made a few moments ago about an employer that's not taking care of its employees as well as it could, especially when it's the richest organization on the planet. And we're going to be there. Uh, the invitation that you heard. Hopefully you will all be there as we attempt to hold this, at least this one big box employer, uh, 
hold them accountable for not getting their employees dignity so that they can also find peace. So in closing, I would just say to you, uh, let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with us. And thank you so much to the Veterans for Peace for this award. Thank you. Thank you.